Ella and I'm the Plants Meow and today I'm going to be doing a bit of a more laid back video than usual. So <laughs> the reason for this is it's a pretty gloomy day. Um, it's something that I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys about and I have a lot of other content that I've been wanting to put out there so I kind of just wanted to put this one out there. It's hopefully not going to be too long of a video. So really what I want to talk about in this video is about winter lighting. So Yes, people may use lights for their plants during the summertime, but right now, <laughs> where I live, it has gotten pretty dark. So right now my plant room has been desperately needing lights. <laughs> so I bought a couple bulb LEDs, some strip LEDs that I already had that I just actually started using again that I had taken away because I was getting so much light in the summertime that really I didn't need anything extra until now. <laughs> the reason you really want to think about getting lights during fall and winter months is that if you're not getting enough lighting, your plants may not flourish in the environment, especially if they're inside, if they're plants that you want to flower or whatnot. They just need a certain amount of lighting that the natural light just won't be able to provide, especially in your home. So other than my bulbs and my strip LEDs, I have also purchased, and this one I got a few months ago, is my more expensive light, which is a Soltech Solutions Aspect Light. So this one I've always really loved. I thought that, that it gave so much vibrancy and light that it was just wonderful. But the only thing about it is that it concentrates on a certain section like a lot of lights do. And it's pretty pricey to just buy more to put all around my plant room. I considered getting one of those strip ones that you just put to the ceiling and have a bunch of lights on. But those are so expensive. So I was really looking just for another light just because I want all the areas in that plant room to be lit up. <laughs> and actually, crazily enough, I was sent this light for free. So this is a Mars Hydro light. So because of that, this is a sponsored video. I was not paid to say anything. So I'm going to be giving my honest opinion about this light. So today I'm going to be unboxing it in this video and just tell you my first impressions. And then I'm going to do a follow-up review video about this particular light just to kind of tell you, does this actually work or not? And I believe on Amazon right now, it's $89.99. So it has a bit of a price point. I think that's the discounted price as well. If you were wondering about these, then I will certainly let you know what I think of them. Now I did inform the company that I don't have one of those hydro tents that a lot of people put this light in. So I don't know. They still sent it anyway. They knew I didn't have one. So I will be letting you know if this light is actually going to be good for just normal putting around the house. So that was something that I didn't even want to buy one of these lights before because I didn't think I could use it. I thought you had to have one of those hydro tents, so that was different for me. This came at a perfect time, so I'm really excited to have another light. I've just been kind of <laughs> moving, shuffling the lights I have around right now in the room, and it's been kind of ridiculous. So I'm really excited to open this, and I'm going to be getting it set up like probably like right away. I won't be recording that because I'll probably look ridiculous, but <laughs> that's that. Oh, while I'm doing this, I'm going to be telling you a little nightmare story that just happened. So as I was doing my makeup for this video, as one does, <laughs> I use a normal eyelash curler for my eyes, right? Right? So tell me why, as I had this curler up to my eyeball, I noticed something crawling up toward my eye. Now, <laughs> when you have something toward your eye and you see something crawling toward it, your immediate reaction isn't to think about what the heck is going on. You just see something crawling and you wig out. So I wigged out so hard, almost ripped off all my eyelashes on this eye. I'm glad I wasn't pressing harder than I was. I was actually, I think, mid letting go. So that probably saved these lashes. <sighs> but it turns out it was a stupid fungus gnat. So virtually in my home, they're almost all gone but there's just those one or two that are still lingering. And one was just sitting on my eyelash curler and I was like, no, you can't do that. So yeah, that's my little spooky I'm home alone story right now. Look at that. I love the size of this light right now. 
I, for some reason, I was expecting it to be like really gigantic. It's probably hard to tell right now because it's in a box, but I'll show you in a second. So it comes with these clasps to hang it. A little book. Some spectrum test light things. All right, let me get it out. Oh, that's like actually like just it. All right. Ooh, this is a great size. I was expecting really big. Okay. So, this is a great size. Like, it's not gigantic by any means. Um, I think what I might do is just kind of do a test and plug it in just to show you like maybe it's a range possibly. Um, I'm going to be hanging it up from the ceiling so obviously it's going to look different then. I'll actually probably insert a clip of me doing that at some point in this video. A few general guidelines. It's not waterproof. I hope you all know that. <laughs> Take light out while using sulfur and acid. I wonder if that's a hydro tent thing, because I don't know anything about no sulfur and acid. <laughs> don't look to the light directly. So I gotta make sure I never look up. That's actually a problem of mine. I tend to look at my lights. <laughs> so I'm gonna make sure not to do that. Stop using light when fan is off. I mean, I have a fan in my plant room, so I hope that's enough. I'm assuming it gets overheated. And this isn't one of those lights that come with a fan. I know there's some hydro tent lights that have it on this side but this does not. So I'm really loving how compact the size is. Yeah, this will be really good. <laughs> and it's not even heavy at all. So I was actually reading reviews that they said these braces wouldn't be enough, but I'm thinking that won't be an issue. It's really light. I think that might've just been them being paranoid. <laughs> so I'm excited to try out this light. I think it's going to look really cool. I haven't decided which area of my plant room I'm going to put it in. I know once this goes up, I can finally put my other lights in their permanent spots so I can stop shifting everything around. No Nina girl, I have a cat with me. No surprise. All right. I'll just like kind of tell you like the things you wouldn't think were normal in this little pamphlet. I mean, the looking directly at them thing, I guess that's pretty normal. It says with naked eyes, so I'm assuming sunglasses if you really want to. It must have really strong rays, which is great. Not to say to look at any light bulb really hard or anything. All right, recommended temperature is between 20 and 35 Celsius. I'll put what it is Fahrenheit down below because I don't know how to translate that. I just know my Fahrenheit. <laughs> Humidity below 80%. That's fine with me. I don't keep my house at 80%. <laughs> LED panels only for indoor growing, aka I'm assuming you're not going to be putting this in a greenhouse. Don't touch it when the panel is on. So I'm not going to plug it into a wall right now and just be like, look, I was so going to do that. <laughs> don't use LED panel during thunderstorm weather in case of thunder strike. My whole table is shook. I keep my lights on when it's thundering, including my other LEDs. Is that an actual issue? I never, I feel like I don't usually read the manual, so I don't know. Should I be turning off my lights during thunderstorms? Oh, this one's my favorite. It says, better to close the door to avoid insects or small animals being attracted to the light. <laughs> So it also comes with this little warranty card, which is nice. So it's actually kind of nice because it kind of justifies why the light is good. It says photosynthesis basically requires a lot of red and blue lights. And so this particular light contains a lot of that. <laughs> and then some other necessary spectrum. I'm not sure what that is, but it says it will be helpful for planting. I'm so excited to try this out. <laughs> if you're trying out any of the lights that I have shown here, or if you're trying other lights out that you happen to really like, please give me your feedback down below. I would love to know what you think of these lights or any other lights because I am definitely in the market for good lights for my plants. Last year, I did not have as many plants and I lived in a different home. So the lighting that I got was different. I actually had a bit more of it because I had a lot of windows in my kitchen and my family room area. I have a lot of windows here, but Directionally speaking, I don't get the same amount of sun that I used to get. So, 
So what I'm probably going to end up doing is getting a ceiling hook and hook these onto it. I haven't decided. I think I'm going to be using one ceiling hook and then just kind of connect the two sides both together like that. Just so I don't have to put another hole in my ceiling. Oh my god. I don't know how this works. This is... This is the real math. I may not include this fumbling around part, but if I do, it's probably because I look real bad and I think um, you may like it or find it entertaining. <laughs> Here are one with carbon or clip in a firm location. Why? Like this. Okay, so there's holes on the side where I'm gonna be putting this. And there's exactly four holes. I don't know why one string isn't connected. Use the clip on the other end of the rope to hang your product. Peel the rope with carboner to easily adjust the height of the product. Oh, ah, there's a thing that says feed rope on here. So I'm gonna lift this little bar up. Oh, look at that. So much rope. Actually, I'm probably not gonna be using that much. Okay, then we have this. So this is the part that's actually supposed to be hooking up to this little thing. So I'm gonna hook these up and I hope I'm doing it right. It looks right. I've actually gotten other emails about sponsorships, but I have refused them because they're not relevant to my channel and I'm not gonna just put something on my channel that's not relevant. This is something that I will take a plant light. I will. I actually been emailed about like a veggie or herb, herb growing kitchen light thing, but I refuse that one because I don't currently grow my own herbs. <laughs> oh, and they also wanted me to mention not to ask them for a free light. I guess that's a thing. Like, because people will go and be like, oh, I want a free light too. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't heard of that. I didn't know that was a thing that people would do. So the hook with the clasp, I'm going to be putting to this. So now you got like this thing. So that was the Mars Hydro TS 600. So I'm going to be testing that. I will let you all know if it works and I will be doing a follow-up video where I'll probably talk about my other lights as well and just kind of tell you which one I prefer best out of all of them. I don't know why I just had that but I was like but if I haven't already done it I'll insert a clip here now of me with the light already hung up and hopefully it's shining brightly all over my plants. <laughs> my only probably concern is while this outlet cord is a typical length, I wanted to hang this from the ceiling so I don't know how I'm gonna be able to do that. Like it's not extremely long. It probably would have been easier with a hydro tent because you're gonna be a lot closer to the ground. Yeah, you're gonna be seeing it in a little clip that I've just shown how I masterfully did it. So <laughs> hopefully that uh, works out very well. And I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it's not like a typical one. It doesn't look particularly fancy or anything, but I think talking about lighting right now when it's getting closer to winter is really important for our plants. So I just wanted to kind of get that out there and just kind of have some discussions. So hopefully in my follow-up video, I'll have a lot more feedback for these lights. I know that with my strip LED lights, I had some leaves that weren't unfurling that now have started to unfurl. So those seem to be working pretty well, but it seems like you do need a lot of those to make a difference. The LED bulbs, I'm very impressed with at the moment. They have a great, great light that's shining with them. I don't know the effect of it yet. My plants haven't seemed to react much to them yet. It's only been, I think, about two weeks now. Um, so I expected a little bit more, but I personally love them so far. I prefer them over the strip LED purple lights because I don't like the purple color, honestly. So I prefer a more sunlight look, <laughs> that makes sense. My aspect light, I need to hung up. I am currently like rolling my aspect light in a cart right now. Like I'm just, I have it laying on a cart and plugged in and I'm just shifting the cart around the plant room. It's really ridiculous. So I'm excited to get this Mars Hydro light up and then finally hang up all the other lights just so Everything's in their spot. It drives me crazy having a bunch of lights, but at the same time, 
I wanted to try out a bunch of different lights because I want to see which ones work best and really just kind of go from there. So I'm really excited that I did get this one for free because it's just less money I have to spend on <laughs> my plants, which is great. <laughs> so I hope you did enjoy this video. If you would like to see more content, please do subscribe. I put out a video every Wednesday and occasionally an extra video on Friday, but not normally. If I ever do put out an extra video, you can pretty much always expect it on a Friday. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching.